So we are understanding first sutra of Patanjali, Atha Yoga Anushashanam. Atha means seeker, qualified seeker, who approached Patanjali. And then the second word is yoga. Yoga means samadhi, the highest state of meditation or mindfulness. Not the popular notion yoga is a union. It is right at a very lower level. When we say yoga is a union of body, mind and the soul, they are already united. That's why you are asked, you are saying yoga is a union of body, mind and the soul or individual or the supreme consciousness. I gave you an example of a wave in the water. Are they separate? No. If the wave is individual consciousness then Water is supreme. Are they separate? No. But I feel they are separate, so I have to remove the ignorance. I have to remove the ignorance. When you remove that ignorance, I realize the union is already there. No, not union is not there but it is already united. So it is the error of my perception. That is why we talk about asatoma satgamaya, tamasoma dhyotirgamaya, mrityorama mritangamaya. So third word, the Patanjali says, anushashanam. I'm using the two words together, anu. Coming from the past, the tradition, shashan, discipline, education. So now if we understand the entire meaning of the sutra, for a qualified seeker, Patanjali begins the journey of yoga that is the highest mindfulness or samadhi. And the discipline and education of yoga is nothing but the to reach to the highest state of mindfulness, anushashan. Second uh, essence is here that our great masters never claim the authorship. They are humble, clear in their head. That is why they are saying that what he is explaining is the tradition of yoga passed on to him by the great masters. We claim our authorship. We become a New York bestseller. <laughs> That is not the case. One thing is very clear. No master, the current master I'm talking about, can ever claim the originality. Originality has two parts. Originality of expression. That may be yours. But they have to refer to the principles of the Eastern wisdom which cannot be updated and upgraded. They have to refer that principle. Any master, current master, whom you claim enlightened or awakened, that is the beauty of the journey. It is not the limitation. No master can ever claim originality of the principles because every principle has been passed on to us by more than 3,000 masters, written in 3,000 texts. That is why we say tradition and lineage. means what? I cannot claim this is my meditation and this is your meditation. And the moment I say it, I have created a cult and a dogma and a belief. And the yoga can never be conditioned by any dogma, belief, cult or so-called religion. Can you say the knowledge of the physics is Christian and the 
knowledge of the chemistry is Persian and the knowledge of the biology is Muslim. You cannot bind the knowledge in any cult, belief and dogma. If you cannot bind the knowledge of meditation in any cult, belief and the dogma, how can you bind the very practice that came out from the knowledge of For the sake of appearance, the same technology of the physics principles, you have an iPhone, you have an Android phone, but it cannot be a cult. You have a choice, you have a freedom. So that is the essence what the Patanjali is talking about. At Yoga Anushasanam, the first sutra. For the qualified seeker, Patanjali says, now you are a qualified seeker, I begin that discipline and education of yoga, which is the highest mindfulness. He is talking straight. He is not putting us into dilemma and he is not even ready to say and explain the popular notion. First chapter of Patanjali, the very first sutra, he says, I'm not going down. I will explain you the yoga as it is. And that yoga as it is, it is the highest state of mindfulness. He is not interested in any popular notion, which may prove to be wrong at a later stage, like wave in the water. Popular notion, yoga is a union. So wave is indivisible consciousness, water is supreme consciousness, yoga is a union between the two. Can the wave exist without water? No. How you are going to unite them? Are they two? It appears two, but they are not two. So I have to drop that illusion of appearance of the two as an individual and the supreme consciousness. When I drop the illusion, I see I am of the nature of supreme consciousness or pure consciousness. And that is a common element everywhere. You guys, that discipline and education which removes the ignorance delusion that causes the suffering and we reach to the highest state of mindfulness that is what the awakening and realization is <laughs>